pastor eh, de tres décadas ya. Being priest for three decades, even a little longer, I have such an experience that when you say to people, for example, why don't you go to another church? No, well, I grew up here, and I love my people. Therefore, the question of their safety, their confidence is more important for them than the commandments. Nobody wants to move a foot because they think it is a sin. For a person to leave one parish, moreover, to leave one parish and go to another one of the same denomination, even that's bad. Another thing that does great harm to the church and has already done harm to the church is that not only relies on its denomination to secure its eternity, but it's also based on what the pastor says. Today, what is said in the denomination, what the pastor says, is more important than what the Word of God says. And I will give you an example. I have been blessed to be a pastor for 37 years or so, for almost four decades. In almost all the congregations where I was blessed to visit, people came up to me saying, Pastor, pray for me, please. I asked them, why don't you pray for yourself? But God will hear you. And I say, how do you know that God will hear me? How do you know? And they say, well, you are a pastor. It means they turned into, you are bad, you are in sin, and you must do what I tell you. That's why typical, evangel typical evangelical services were like this. Come in, come here, come up, come up. If you don't come up, you won't be saved. Come up and repeat this prayer with me. Today, we have a false idea because, as I already said, in the past decades we were given a false image of a priest who was basically considered as the fourth in the Trinity. And because of what he said was the law, there is no perfect boss, no perfect teacher, no perfect priest. And let's understand that only Jesus is perfect. From a pastoral point of view and as a pastor, we want to give the church such an image that I am a successful person, I am a very spiritual person, I am a person who communicates with Jesus, with God every day. And you know what? I am very influential in God's decisions. I say, so what is your need? Do you need healing? It's not a problem. Lord, heal him. It's just that God listens to me, my brother, and... But I am reading the Bible, and several times that I've read the Bible, I could not find a case when God performed a miracle because some person told God, do it. It is our goal to build a society that we should have. We are running out of time. But one thing that is missing today is to be kinder, more balanced, or in a nutshell, stop being selfish.